What's going on guys? Robert the Prom Bree here, back with another video. And as you can see, it's obviously chest day. I'm doing some bench press. And I always start with my uh, compound lifts first and make sure I put all my energy into the biggest lift, which is the bench press for today. And um, as you can see, my chest is one of my lagging muscle groups. It's, it's lagging big time. And basically the main reason and the main factor why my chest is lagging so badly is because I'm not able and I have a hard time retracting my scapula and maintaining it there in that position as I press the weights up. As you can see, I'm, I'm fighting to keep my shoulders back on the pad and press that way. That's why after the midpoint, it takes me forever to bring it up because my scapula is trying to, to release and uh, the form will break down. And when, when the scapula releases, uh, first of all, it makes my range of motion a lot higher and it involves a lot of other muscle groups like the shoulder more and the, and the, and the triceps as well. So I've been training without being able to retract my scapula and not even being aware of it uh, for a few years and as you can see my chest growth has been on the low side so right now I'm working on doing uh, I'm practicing retracting my scapula and holding it there as I'm pressing more and more and um, first of all I feel a better pump in my chest and I feel like my pecs are actually working now so if you're one of these people that first of all you need to be able to um, to get the form properly which is your shoulders back and down and with a slight arch when you when you do a pressing movement and it's extremely important uh, to be able to maintain that position throughout each rep and each set every single time and for me personally I have some knots in my mid traps which do now allow me uh, not do not allow me but it makes it difficult for me to get in that position and hold it there so uh, if you have the same problem or for whatever reason you're not aware of keeping your shoulders back and retracted make sure you you uh, you do that and scapula retraction is important for every lift, doesn't matter, you name it, you need to be able to retract the scapula and stabilize in that position so you can optimally press or pull or whatever exercise you're doing. So after the bench press, I went in and I did uh, some cable flies. And again, as you can see, I have a hard time uh, keeping my shoulders back as I bring the, the cables together. So that's why it's the, the reps are slowing down, especially in the end because I'm fighting to not break down the scapula and maximize my chest contraction at the, at the top. Uh, after that, I went to incline bench press and same thing. I focus on bringing my shoulders back and maintaining it there as I press up. And I did about three sets here uh, for 10, 15 reps. And when I do my incline bench, I bring my weights right where my wrist and elbow is, so a little bit wider. And that way I engage my upper chest a lot more. So as you can see, the weights are right on my uh, elbow level as I press up and I don't bring them in at all. I just keep constant tension on the outer part and my, out, my outer chest or like my upper chest gets fried in the end. Uh, it's a really good way of doing it to, if you want to develop the upper chest. And uh, each workout now or almost every single day, I try to get a, a pressing movement over my head because I want to develop my shoulders. And uh, I keep the volume very down, like down. I do very little volume. Like today, I did two sets of eight to ten reps with, with really light weight. And then this right here is um, is a extremely good activation exercise for upper chest. And as you can see, just bring your hands across your body and just press all the way up or all the way away from you, uh, squeezing the upper chest. All right, so I'd say that's all I did for today. And uh, in the end of the in the end of the workout, I just did a little bit posing. So here you guys have it. Uh, I'll see. You. Thanks for watching. If you if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.